Welcome to our module on intangible assets. Included in this module will just be a brief introduction to intangible assets. We know for, from our introductory plant asset module that intangible assets lack physical substance and they must be classified as non-current assets. They're classified on the balance sheet as a subgroup of plant assets. They're valued based on cost regardless of their market value to the company. In order to include an intangible asset on the balance sheet, there must be reasonable evidence of future benefit. That's consistent with our definition of asset, which is probable future economic benefit. So an intangible asset is a probable future economic benefit that's non-current that lacks physical substance. It's included on the balance sheet based on actual cost, and examples of intangible assets include patents, trademarks, and goodwill. Much like tangible plant assets, intangible plant assets are written off to expense over the intangible assets useful life. Rather than calling this process depreciation, we call it amortization. So amortization is essentially the same as depreciation. It's just what we do for intangible assets. The journal entry is to debit amortization expense and credit the intangible asset account. So for example, if we were amortizing a patent, we would debit amortization expense and credit patent. A very special t type of an intangible asset is goodwill. Goodwill is an intangible asset that represents the amount that a company is paid to acquire certain favorable int intangible attributes as part of the acquisition of another company. Those favorable, favorable attributes include a reputation, market share, image, reputation for high quality and loyal employees, superior management, and manufacturing or other operating efficiencies. So if we pay more than the fair market value of the net identifiable assets for a company, we're paying for these extra things. For example, if we purchased McDonald's, we would pay far more than the net identifiable assets of McDonald's because of McDonald's reputation, market share, and image, among other things. Collectively, we call these other things goodwill. Here we have an example of how to calculate goodwill. It's the difference between the estimated value of the business as a whole, or the purchase price, and the estimated fair value of the net identifiable assets. The difference between those two is the amount attributed to goodwill. This concludes our module on intangible assets. It's a brief introduction to intangible assets. More complicated issues would be covered in more advanced accounting curriculum.